Exactly 100 days ago, it was January 1st, 2022. And I decided to make a sketch and publish it because I was like, even if you have the hangover from the New Year's Eve, you can still wake up and sketch something and post it. This last glass of wine I drank last night. You know the regret in the morning, the hangover on the first day of the new year? Yeah, I kind of have it and I still had to sketch, you know, because it's the first day of the new year and you have to start good, you have to sketch, you have to be productive, creative, you need to do your job. I did another sketch on the second day and then on the third day. And then I decided like, maybe it can be like my new year's goal. Maybe I can sketch something every day or post something like a render or something design related every day on my Instagram account. By the way, do you remember and keep on pushing your new year's goals? It is very common that people set really big goals for like in new year's I will do this and that and every day. And then after one week or after a couple weeks, it started to disappear. You skip one day, you skip another day and it becomes like, it just lose the importance and you just stop doing it, right? I also have this type of goals. I mean, I'm not stopping doing them, but these are more like a longer term goals. You don't need to push every day. And because of you skipped a couple of days, it doesn't mean you failed or something. But this little Instagram challenge for myself, I decided to do it because it was something small. I was like, I can sketch at least something every day, right? like a small practice, small warm-up every day. But I also felt like I'm a designer. I anyway sketch every day. I mean, I almost sketch every day. But I do something related to design every day for sure. So I was like, why would it be a challenge? Then I said, okay, if it's that easy, just do it, right? But I learned a couple of things on the way. The first couple of days, it was just fun. I didn't even decide to make it a challenge. So it was just nice. And then I decided, okay, now this is a challenge. I'm gonna sketch every day. I'm gonna post something every day. Then I was like motivated. I was like, I had this fire in me to push me further, like to do it every day. But not long, like after one week or two weeks, I started to feel like, okay, but even is there anybody who cares about what I'm doing right now? And right after that, there was another period I started to feel like I'm just repeating myself. It's just not interesting anymore. It's easy, like do something, post it, okay, but why? I started to question why I even decided to do this type of challenge. But I think it's also very important, like most of the time we start something, we have the idea, the spark, we keep pushing and then right after some little time, we start to even question like, is it really necessary? Because it's the way to tell ourselves you don't have to do it, you know? It's the way to find an excuse to stop this goal we set a couple weeks ago. That's why it's always remember to why you started. Maybe take a note at the beginning of any challenge or any goal you set for yourself. Like to remind yourself to keep on moving even if you feel bad. And there was another period that I started to get some messages like people said that I'm posting every day inspires them, motivates them to do things. Even if somebody is having a bad day, they see the sketch, they see the post from me every day and they are like also motivated and keep pushing themselves. I got this type of messages and it made me really happy. It made me really like glad of myself, glad of what I'm doing. But the most important thing I learned so far by posting every day for 100 days is that you will lose your motivation. There are horrible days, there are bad days, there are lazy days, there are days you question even yourself, like question your profession, question your why do you even share on social media or why do you even sketch something, why do you push that much yourself, right? So you lose the motivation, you just want to maybe give up, maybe stop, maybe take a break. And it's okay to take breaks for a short time for bigger goals, but for me, for this challenge, what I realized is the discipline is way more important than motivation. Motivation is not always in your hands, right? Not always you decide to be motivated. But discipline is totally in your hands. Like even if you don't feel motivated, even if you start questioning yourself, you can just start doing the thing you decided. That's why it is important to set small goals, like big goals, but also smaller steps for yourself to be able to keep on the track. This way, after you pass these bad days, after some amount of time when you look back, like for me today, when I look back, I sketched and posted, maybe not sketch, sometimes just a render or different things, but I posted every day for 100 days and now it sounds like something big, right? It's something bigger than sketching one little thing every day. It's like, wow, 100 days I did this. It's like, so I'm kind of like proud of myself to kept on going with my goals. Some days it's pure passion. Some days it's totally fine because I sketch anyway or I design anyway. Some days I'm more motivated, I'm like, okay, this is the day 70 something, I need to do it because like I didn't break this chain, I need to keep on going. And some days it's pure discipline as well. 
like I don't feel that passionate I don't feel that motivated but the discipline which made me do it so far I don't know if I will be able to make it for 365 days exactly for this year but it doesn't matter if I skip a couple days I will just do my best and that's the whole point isn't it just do your best and if you watch this video until here please give me a like to support me and if you are new here welcome just hit that subscribe to join me see you in the next video